Hi guys, it's Katie Reed. Welcome to another five minute masterclass. Today we are talking about the curse of the dead Facebook group. I have felt this curse. I know what it's like. Let's talk about how to zombify, undead your Facebook group here a little bit. There are some very specific things you can do. So first off, first, 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 if your group has not hit 5,000 people yet, you can still rename your group. So the first thing I wanna talk about is, let's have a little moment here and talk about the name of your Facebook group. The name is a big deal. Have you chosen a name where I, as a new member, am going to be excited to say, I am a this. And the this is the name of your Facebook group. So the name of your Facebook group should not be a verb like, um, you know, people building their online businesses using freebies, because I can't really say that in one easy sentence. But this group, for example, the therapreneurs, sure, it's a made up word, but you guys all knew what it meant when you saw it, right? Therapists who are also entrepreneurs. So can you come up with a name for your Facebook group that people can say with pride, I am a this, and they identify immediately into that group. That goes a long way right in the beginning. Now, the second thing I want you to do, there is one most important question that you're going to ask new members of your group. Do you know what it is? It's gonna build your entire business. When you have those initial questions that people have to answer before they come in, you are going to say, joining this group gives you this amazing freebie. What freebie have you created? Whatever it is, you're going to say as a thank you for joining this group, you will receive my guide to being cool. Here it is. I'm going to send it to you. <laughs> I wouldn't be so good at writing that. I just bumped my own microphone. But some of you probably have great guides to being cool and you should be sending them to people. So you're going to ask that in your initial questions to people. You say, what email should we send this to? Now, personally, I let people into the group even if they don't want to give their email. I don't mind at all. Like I get it. Not everybody wants to give their email, but for you, this is an incredibly fast way to grow your email list. Now, the one little warning I'll give you is the minute you approve that person, their answers disappear. And so what we do is we go through and cut and paste out all of those email addresses before we approve people. And then we add those people onto our email list. Now, as a caveat, the other thing I found that's important, I do say now on the top of my first email, I say, you're getting this freebie either because you asked for it at my website or you joined the therapreneurs group. Just so people are not like, what is this? Where is this coming from? So they clearly know where it's coming from. So I recommend that as well. Number three, what's the most important thing to do right after people join? I want you to think of people joining your Facebook group like they're coming to a party at your house. How can you welcome them in? Now, a very simple way is just that nice welcome post right in the beginning where Facebook gives you the names of everybody who joined that week and you can have a standard welcome post that you post every single week. It can introduce you. It can kind of tell them a little bit about the group, ask them to introduce themselves, get to know other people in the group. This is a great thing to do because it immediately starts getting some of those people engaged and aware. Now, the other thing that can be very helpful is giving people the lay of the land. If somebody comes to my house, I'm going to be like, the food is over there. The drinks are over there. Put your coat here. You know, you kind of give them the lay of the land, right? So same thing. For example, the next thing I was going to tell you is how to encourage engagement in your group. One great thing in the beginning is if you have a certain post that encourages engagement every day of the week. So you've got your Marketing Monday, your Talk About Yourself Tuesday, your Share Your Website Wednesday, like whatever your posts are, invite people when they first join, say, hey, just so you know, this is the schedule of engagement here in our group. On Mondays, you share this, and on Tuesdays, you share that. And then they will have a sense of it. And when they see those posts coming up in their newsfeed, they'll be more interested and they'll be more likely to engage with those posts. I gotta go fast, I'm running out of time. So that is the best way to encourage engagement in the beginning. Now, there's a million other things you can do. You can run challenges in your group. We have a whole separate five-minute masterclass on challenges. Uh, you can offer rewards and prizes for engagement. You can do all sorts of things. But let me give you a little benchmark. What I've seen, everybody, all myself included, all of us in the beginning, when we start our groups, they are dead and you feel like you're talking to yourself and it's embarrassing because you're the only one posting and then you're the only one responding to your posts and you feel like the nerdy kid in junior high, like it takes you right back there. Uh, maybe that's just me. I don't know. But <laughs> for most of us, we go right back there, right? So just trust 
Once a group on Facebook hits around the 700 mark, this is when the group starts taking on a life of its own. People begin to converse more. People begin to chat with each other. There's a little bit more energy in the group. You get one or two chatty people in there and other people responding to them. So just hold out for that mark and know that as long as you're doing your due diligence and you're posting those weekly posts and you're welcoming people in, by the time you get to about 700, people are actually gonna start chatting without you. It's gonna be glorious, you're gonna love it. And Facebook groups are still an amazing way to build your community, build your authority, let people know what you do. So I highly recommend them and they're a little bit painful in the beginning <laughs> and it's normal. Okay, thanks guys. As always, I hope that you'll join us in the Clinic Coach Six Figure Flagship Program. That is the place to hang out with me and get my personalized eyes on every single part of you and your business. I will talk to you later. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this and you want more, check out my website at katyreed.com. And remember, it's read spelled like read a book, R-E-A-D. And also check out these other great therapist marketing videos and hit subscribe so that you never miss a new little tidbit coming your way every single week to grow your practice. Bye.